guys probably. <laughs>Hey guys, Palm Raider here, and we are gonna go over the Castle Defenders mod. And I got this nice little uh, mod review map that I actually got off someone, and so thank you very much to that. I'll actually put this link of this in the description just so I don't have to take credit for building this nice mod review place. Um, but yeah, let's get into this mod here. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool one in my opinion. We'll start over it. We'll, we'll come back to that later. But um, we're gonna start off with our night spawner um, and essentially what this is is it allows you to spawn in little minions that work for you and uh, they put this here and they work for you in multiple ways first of all they kill mobs like spiders and zombies and all that good stuff I don't know why he's not going over there he's out of range um, and if you have a medallion which we'll show you in a second here they should be following you. He seems pretty obsessed with that book. Hey, hey, bro. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. See, I'm over here. All right, he has a problem with reading, I guess. <laughs> that is really weird. I'm going to break that. All right, now follow me. There, he's being totally glitchy right now. I don't know why he's doing that. So we're just going to kill him. Kill the zombie. And while I break my entire building, stop it. This is your fault. This is your fault. Let me fix that. Make it all pretty again. Um, and, yeah, so if you break their blocks, they stop spawning. You have the same thing with archers. Right here. You have a uh, – and, uh, by the way, here's the here's the crafting recipe. It's just a bow in the middle, four ingots around it. Uh, you Same thing with the sword, but just an iron sword in the middle. You put down these archer guys. There's nothing for him to attack, but they spawn, and they just stand there and snipe people. So that's cool. To break that, kill him. And, uh, yeah, pretty simple spawn um, recipes, so they're nice to make in creative mode. Um, and then you have your mercenaries. These are not really ones that you're going to craft in, uh, in when you're playing with the mod, but their cool thing is we'll take these. If you place them down and they come out, they're going to attack things. They're going to attack enemies. They're going to do all that stuff. But you can... Hey, get down. You should be able to do this. What is going on? Hmm. Hold on. Let me, let me just see if this is the problem. There we go. All right. So for some reason, you, I guess you can't tame the archers like I thought you could. But you can tame uh, the... Come on, spawn, spawn, spawn. This is a still a, definitely a mod that is I would consider work in progress because there are glitchy things like this, and I'm sorry about that, but there we go. Um, uh, if they spawn, what you can do is you can either attach them with a gold. It doesn't actually even... Um, actually, it doesn't even need to be gold. You're just right-clicking them. So now that he has his helmet on, you, he follows you. Yeah, see? Bam, and then he even teleports if he can't get to you. Yeah, see? And he'll just follow you around, attack mobs, all that kind of good minion-y stuff. And I guess uh, that must be a glitch with the archers, because I would think that they would want you that to be a thing. And then if you don't want them to, if you want them to stop following you, just right-click them, and bam. Bam, bam, now they're no longer your minions, and they're just mercenaries. And so you can kill them, and it's all a good time. So they break all these stuff so they don't come back. And yeah, cool stuff there. So now getting on to the next part of it here. Oh, wow. This is the enemy part, and this is kind of the coolest part in my opinion. Yeah, I'm getting the minions to fight for you is all super cool and stuff, but uh, die. The cooler part is, and I'm actually going to cut away for this as I'm continuing to talk, is you can actually fight these guys in they, they spawn in these castles in the actual game and uh yeah they you, and you just get to kill them they spawn until you break their spawners and and so now we're back here showing you one of these spawners here an enemy mage spawner um i take this and 
if I wasn't in creative mode, this thing would be attacking me right now and like setting me on fire and all that cool stuff. But uh, that is on the third level of the castle. The first level of the castle is, um, and around it are all uh, these guys. Where are they? Where are they? I don't have one out. Let me see. Um, let's see. Knight. Enemy knights. And these things are pretty dangerous. They attack you. They have pretty strong health. And uh, but yeah, you can kill them. They're, they're, they're not that bad. They're, I would consider them, especially when they if they if you don't destroy their spawner in time, and they keep on coming back. They can definitely cause you a problem. Um, but uh, the big ones are definitely these mages, and, and those things are kind of obnoxious. Um, and uh, the the thing about the archers is that their their blocks are actually hard to spot. This is actually a, a, a spawner. It looks like a piece of cobblestone, but it's a little bit darker, so you can tell the difference. But you're gonna need to bring an axe, or a pickaxe, with you when you're gonna attack these guys because uh, you're definitely gonna want to have to take out those uh, spawners to attack them. So let me take this here. Bam. And yeah, so those things are pretty dangerous just because they're kind of hidden and they're hard to tell that they're a problem. And uh, let me get this back here. Bam. All right, and uh, so yeah, those are the main ones. And then there's one other thing I did want to mention. Let me get my friendly knight spawner right here. And bam. That spawn, give them a little time, and since I have a medallion on me, they will follow me. You know, like pigs follow um, wheat, or cows follow wheat, and all and all that stuff. And I can get a whole bunch of them. I get an army of them following me. But as soon as I move away from that medallion, they are not going to be with me anymore. So if I wanted to go in here and attack all of these skeletons, I could have this guy come with me and have him do all the dirty work and help him out a little bit. And uh, yeah, like you said, they they pretty much take care of their own business. I think. They have about as much strength as a regular iron sword would have. And, uh, yeah, it's all good stuff. And they're just kind of destroying it. But I, if I say it's enough, enough time, now come with me. But I, I, I guess their, their like love for killing things is a little bit stronger than their love for the medallion. So if they're on a tear, then they... Come on. Come on. Let's, let's play nice. Let's play nice. There you go. you got to click on them sometimes to get his attention. And, uh, yeah, so that works with just the knights. And you get it a good, decent amount. So... This game is pretty awesome because you get to not only like go around and um, attack mobs with these guys, but they can just defend your house when you're not there, and uh, then you get to raid all these villages. And, and they have their, their their castles actually have chests, and sometimes they have arrows, sometimes they have swords, and whatever. Um, but uh, you act, although I almost forgot to mention the way you get the medallion is to just find it in a chest which are in these um, buildings. Uh, but I think I went over everything that is in this mod. If you guys have any questions, post it down below and I'll try to answer them. It's kind of a complex mod, but I thought it was neat. And so, yeah guys, I'll post the uh, link to this mod in the description. And I uh, hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. And yeah, that's it. Before we're gonna sign it off, peace.